All right, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Basically Gabe. We're back with episode five of the Penny to $5,000 Challenge. In today's episode, we're gonna do about a three-day span of putting in the work leading up to the $5,000. Last episode, we left off with $150.05. This episode, starting, we have $420.05. Let me explain why. The Red Thunders note box that we had sold for $260. Uh, the Ochre Slides traded for some UNLV dunks. I'm about to show you in a minute plus ten dollars so that's another ten dollars and that's all that's sold, man i haven't really had time to focus on this challenge but from here in the next couple of weeks a lot of these videos will be posted right after each other so the videos make more sense i know it really doesn't make sense me doing painting the five thousand dollar challenge and then going to events and cashing out i'm real sorry about that but i have to keep content up because i am trying to grow as y'all know so any like comments really mean a lot to me that really helps my videos get on the algorithm and i really appreciate you all for showing so much love on these recent youtube videos i'm gonna keep grinding i'm gonna keep pumping out two videos a week maybe up to three if i make enough time which i really want to because youtube has become a priority for me so i really do appreciate everybody who supports me but our inventory is looking like we have stealth fives what the fives flu game 12s social statuses and now unlvs i'm gonna take you out through that right now so these are the unlvs that we got for those ochre slides that we paid 60 dollars for and she added 10 bucks look at these they look very clean they honestly look new well with a little wipe, these look really good. So real quick, before this video really gets started, let me take out through the game plan through these next couple of days. So the clips that y'all are about to watch is gonna be me at the bins, and then after that, we're gonna do a little thrift cash out from one of my boys, and then we're gonna go to a shoe cash out. Hopefully we build enough, sell a bunch of these shoes, and build up some money. As of right now, that's all we're gonna do. So we're gonna clean these UNLVs up, post them up, and then post repost everything because I, I was kind of taxing just to get as much as I can, but I'm gonna do a markdown just to get these stuff sold. So whenever we go to the cash out, I actually do have money. So we're gonna repost these, sell them, and next clip is me at the bins. All right, as y'all can see, as y'all can see, we have made it to the bins. We're gonna go through a couple and hopefully find some stuff. We just got here and kind of found a nice little Texas piece. It's the same brand as last time that we bought and it flew off the page and this is Texas. All those UT people be going crazy for stuff like that. All right, a couple rounds later, let me go through a couple pieces that we got. I thought these were pretty dope. Uh, but these are smart shit, so we're probably gonna pass on those. That's some really cool colored cargos. I really like the, the fade on the knee here. Nice vintage Russell hoodie. Probably definitely take this one. Show out the tag real quick. Made in El Salvador, super clean piece. Take that for sure. Probably gonna take the cargos because those tend to do well. And exactly where y'all should be hitting the bins, we found this Javinci crew neck. Good condition. It's a little small though, but it's probably gonna be like a dollar. So this is a great one. I don't know if it's real though. Can't really tell. We'll have to legit check it. Either way, it probably will be posted on the site just because if it's fake, it'll be posted as bootleg. A lot of people get away with that, so why can't we? And then this super rainbow type sweater made in thailand and that's really it not too much well, but we've only been through two rotations luckily there's not a lot of people here so a lot of people are missing a lot of stuff so we're gonna go through and i'm gonna just keep checking all these bins because you never know what you can find but yeah we're gonna keep going through these bins and hopefully we can find a good amount probably gonna stay here for around an hour or two more and then dip because i have that meetup with the vintage guy that i'm gonna cash out that i said and then i have a sneaker meetup right now while i'm waiting for the bins i'm gonna post up pairs another thing anytime you find yourself having free time either do product research or find something to do because you know being an entrepreneur you gotta really fill in those time gaps because the only way you're gonna make money is the amount of work you put in so i'm gonna price these shoes that i posted before at tax price and do a little discount on them and run it on the story and hopefully we can sell some all right we are leaving the establishment we spent a total of twenty dollars so now we have 405 cents but while we were in there we managed to sell the hyper oils the what the fives the flu game 12s and the UNLV, I'm gonna add those up right now. So our outstanding balance right now is $1,030.05 is what we have left over. We're gonna head to a cash out right now. I'm gonna take y'all through what we got at the bins. After. On the way home, I completely forgot to post these. Steel price, super clean, and they pretty much sold immediately. Here's the Zell right here. So I know I ain't kept, and all these shoes have Zell receipts. I would post them all, but uploading them all and getting these videos at the same time is pretty difficult. Just add that, and we have $1,140.05. I would add that extra 12, but we're gonna just put that towards shipping already. That way we don't have to deduct it later. Oh, and by the way, that vintage meetup that I was supposed to do, he flaked so. So we're gonna wait a little bit for two shoe meetups and I'm gonna take y'all to that one. All right, so I just got back from the meet. Let me show y'all some deals that I got and deducted from our counter. Pick these up, size 12. Yes, sir, super clean condition. It was raining, so we had to real quick. Jacassi, super clean. 
paid a hundred bucks. They could use a little, a little on icing. Hopefully I can show out uh, before and after on these. hundred bucks, not bad. We got these. These do super well for me, Lowe's, especially these in those purple ones. I know most of y'all probably know what I'm talking about. These got for 50 bucks, so we'll deduct that. And then last but not least, from a couple shoes that we got, we paid 200 for these. Shout out to my boy, Chris. Y'all know how much of a steal this is, way better. 200 for these, super clean pair. Oh man, steal. Thank you, Chris. So after deducting all three, that is $350 from our $1,140 balance and five cents, of course. Don't think I forgot about that. Minus $350. We have $790 and five cents left. Let me show you some of the clothes that we got that y'all didn't see. First thing up is this nice little Texas hoodie. All my Austin subscribers, collegiate level people. Nice little piece. Everything, of course, at the bins is like a dollar, two bucks, so it can't go wrong. It doesn't hurt. Uh, some Levi's. What are these? Five, 505 Levi's. Pick those up. And then we got some short shorts. We're going to try these out. I've never sold a pair of these, but I know some people do like them. So I think these are the, I don't know, they're just short shorts. Vintage, though, so those should sell. And then we actually picked this up. I don't know nothing about baseball, but... This guy used to play and it's pretty recent. So this was probably like a dollar, two dollars, so can't go wrong with that. Everything here will be available at selectscloset.com, at selectscloset on Instagram, and the sneakers are Houston Selects, HoustonSelects.com. So if y'all need anything for the best prices, of course, let me know. Website is upload on both 24-7. Also this piece, I know y'all saw it already, but Da Vinci piece. We got a grail in here. My girl actually picked it. Let me show y'all that last. And then Got this nice little Harley tee, super dope. Probably throwing up for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Selectscloset.com, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to go shop best prices, especially for like, I know a lot of people can't afford the better clothes. These vintage pieces are amazing because they're so cheap and they're like perfect everyday wears. But this was the more on the grail side, the, probably the best find of the day. Let me show y'all real quick. It says, Yo Quiero Taco Bell. This is from, 1998 we searched it up it goes for around 70 bucks of course paid like a dollar so that was a good find we already deducted that balance so next step is to clean these shoes up iron all these clothes measure them post them on the site post everything on the site the shoes on houston selects clothes on selects closet and next clip will probably be me i got another meetup in two hours so that will be the next clip and yeah all right man we have just arrived at the meetup spot let's go bro Got all the pairs here. Good size four and a half. And these are probably the pairs I'm interested in right here. These, probably not these just because they're separating. Maybe at the end if you want to throw them in or something, but we could just go by one by one. So later at the end- Maybe, maybe on those, yeah. How much did you want on these? 140 on these ones? Market's probably pretty high, I know. And then these, what would you on these? Uh, pretty low. We'll see at the end though. Sure. If I'm too far off, we'll see at the end. Eighty. Just six and a half. These. Was it for both colors? Yeah. So 60 and 60, right? Or 60, yeah. And then the UNC's? 100. What about these? Those are 120. Okay. And then on the 11th, I'll All right, we're just gonna go through each one and then I'm gonna take y'all through at the end. All right, we just agreed on the prices. These, 30 bucks. These, 10. These for 60. 40. 70. Uh, 20. 20. And 70. Hi, right, bro. Right, bro. Appreciate you.
Appreciate it. All right, with that cash out plus, I had to treat myself a little bit. Y'all know me, y'all know I love candy. These costed $6.26, plus that cash out was $310, so our total balance should be $783.79. It's late at night, so we're probably gonna end the day off here. Not the video, we're gonna do another day and keep this video going. We're gonna clean up all these shoes, take pictures of all the clothes, post everything, and hopefully wake up in the morning and some items are sold. So we just got back to the storage, and of course, I forgot to record the other meetup that I had right after this last one. I spent $400, let me take you out through that one real quick. Got these for 70 bucks, 90 for these. Need some ice, love. 40 for these. Paid $10 for everything right here. Vintage Columbia jacket. Uh, old little Carhartt piece. And this Taz T. Single stitch, double sided as well. And then, then we got both of these lows for 50 bucks a piece. These and these 50 bucks, super clean, size nine and a half. And last but not least, we got these 7210s for 100 bucks. Pretty much like new. Got all the insoles. Oh, they're still really clean. 100 bucks for these. All right, deducting that $400 from my balance, that leaves us with $383.79. Little tip for all my new resellers if you're just starting, highly recommend to spend all the money that you're making, reinvest it. Let me show you something real quick as well. This costs 20 bucks. And of course, this container, I'm pretty sure your mama has one laying in the garage. Get some aluminum foil, get some tape, and rig that bit up. Let me show you real quick. I know infrareds were a little yellow. We're probably gonna leave these overnight because they don't look the best, but investing in stuff that's gonna further your profits like that icebox makes me so much. I know y'all. a lot of y'all are wondering why I buy so many beaters, how I've gotten this far with beaters. And honestly, I have gotten this far because of beaters, not because of new shoes, making 30, 40 bucks on those quick flips, buying them for under market, selling them for market. Beater shoes, you get them for super low because they're beat, they're trash, people don't even want them and you're giving them money for their trash and then you're selling them for more after putting time and effort into them. So that's why I highly recommend to put all the money that you get back into your business, such as Icebox. Icebox is a great investment. If you need help how to make it, uh, you can shoot me a DM and I'll shoot you a link on how to make it. There's a bunch of videos online. You could also search it up on YouTube. But yeah, we have a bunch of pairs that we need to clean and we need to post. So we're going to post them and clean them. And like I said, we're going to check back in the morning and see what sells. All right, it is the next day. And let me go through what sold. We sold the Shatter Backboard Lows for 130 the Brad 11s for 120 the Winter 4s for 140 the Yellow Mids No Box for 100 the Cool Gray No Box for 90 the Cool Gray 3s, no box GS size. Syracuse Dunk, size 9, no box for 290. Bread Lows for 100, 7210 for 140. Pretty much everything sold. I know I bought a lot of four and a halfs. Those, those ones that didn't sell um, need to be restored, so I wasn't able to post those. And a couple more didn't post. For some reason, Instagram was chirping. So we had all we had left over was the social status that we posted, and uh, that's it. Just the social status, everything else sold. So today our goal is to buy more and sell more. We're gonna hit the bins as well after this clip and I have meats at two and I'm gonna show you what I got there. But with that money that I made last night, I ended up buying these three, you can see, pretty used up creams for 90 bucks. Uh, bought some dead stock stuff to try it out for the video so y'all can see how much dead stock is really not that good. How it really doesn't fly, but I mean, hopefully it sells, of course, but we'll see. Panda high, size nine and a half. We're gonna be throwing up steals on these. Probably like 140 on the pandas, 140 on the creams, and then we paid 150 on these, brand new. I know these are sitting at malls right now, but we got all those. So after buying all these and adding up everything that we sold last night, we have $843.79 left. I know last night I was super wrong, so hopefully the counter's not too off, but that's how much we have to spend. We gotta go to this meetup, and then we're gonna hit the bins. All right, we have just arrived, waiting for the dude to pull up. Get a little YouTube clip. He wore these once? Like two, three times, bro. Two times. No star loss, nothing. These are DS right there. These are brand new. We'll say how much for both? All right, bro. All right, bro. Appreciate it. Two piece. Show you real quick what we got for my camera dice. Brand new Union 2s for pretty much 150. And then pretty much brand new Heritage 1s for 70 bucks. Not bad. So after deducting that buy, we have $623.79. We're gonna go to the bins, and after the bins, I'm probably gonna end the video off there. I'm gonna post a couple pairs right now, that way while we're at the bins, some of them will probably sell. 
So our balance right now is $623.79. Time to hit the bins. All right, we just got back from the bins. That was an absolute bust, I'm not gonna lie. Weekend bins are not the move at all. It was so packed. We really, we only stayed for two rotations because it was just so packed, it wasn't worth it. But we did manage to grab these in a size. Another size nine and a half Jordan 5. The last ones did well for us, sold pretty quick when we marked them down. So these should sell pretty quick. They could use the ice which I'm gonna show you the infrareds that I was icing that I got earlier in the video. I know y'all probably saw, I'll try to put a comparison, but probably won't just cause I didn't take a picture before. We paid $70 for these top threes and we've only been gone for like an hour. So the only thing that sold was the cream Yeezys for $150. So after adding and deducting both of those sale and buys, we should have $703 and 79 cents. And that's probably where we're gonna wrap up this video just because I have to upload this tomorrow. And then Wednesday is gonna be another episode Sunday probably another episode as well, so y'all gonna have a bunch of episodes back to back to back, and hopefully we can finish up this challenge, man. We're pretty stocked up shoe-wise, so by the time next video comes around, I'll probably start recording that on Monday. So by Monday, I should have a good amount of cash flow in the bank as far as the balance for this challenge, and then we should still have some stock left. So we're gonna clean these up, clean the rest of them up, so that way by Monday, everything's ready to go, ready to be posted, ready to be sold. Let me show you the infrareds real quick. So I was only able to leave them for a couple hours, but as y'all can see, the ice is pretty pretty much back to blue. The bottom's all right. Uh, damn, I'm hoping we could do a clip from before. They were yellow because they look really good right now. Paid 100 for these, which is absolute steal. Of course, now that they're ice, ready to be clean. Next candidate that's ready to go is probably these. This is a really good, a really good shoe to ice. I love icing these. These come back so well and then they sell for so much. All right, so we got everything ready to go. We have $703.79 left to finish off this video. That's how much we have to spend starting next video. And we have a bunch of inventory that needs to be cleaned and posted and sold. So y'all will probably be seeing three episodes back to back to back just because there's no events right now until next week. But that one will be uploaded next, next Wednesday. This is gonna be uploaded tomorrow, Sunday. So yeah, man, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. I know this was a long one. Y'all let me know if y'all wanna see more longer videos or like one day videos shorter or three day videos longer. You know, y'all let me know. I'm trying to cater to y'all's needs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody for watching. I know these videos get kind of long and probably kind of boring, but Y'all seem to like them, so I'm gonna keep pumping out content for the rest of my life because this YouTube stuff is so fun. I love it. If y'all could please like, comment, and subscribe, that don't mean the world. Likes get my videos on the algorithm, and the algorithms gets me subscribers. Subscribers get me more motivation to pump out even better content. I'm, I promise my content is gonna be so much better than everybody else's. Like, everybody's doing the same thing. I have to follow the, the crowd right now just because I'm trying to grow and people wanna see stuff that they already see. I can't just go and branch off and do whatever I want yet. Very soon, though, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos that are a lot different than what you've seen. I appreciate everybody for watching, man. Next episode is going to be great. We've got a bunch of inventory to move, a good amount of money to spend. So, yeah, once again, thank you, everybody, for watching to the next video.